This is State Representative Tyrone Brooks, president of the Georgia Association of Black Elected Officials and a 17-term veteran of the Georgia House of Representatives. I am just elated uh, to learn that Governor Nathan Deal and the State Properties Commission and the commission that looks over all of these uh, statues and portraits around our capital are going to remove Tom Watson from the front door of our capital, the People's House, across the street. I wish that we could take Richard B. Russell behind me, uh, Governor Eugene Talmadge on the back side of the Capitol, uh, John B. Gordon, former Confederate War General, and all of the others across the street, because I think it's appropriate for the people's capital, the people's house, to reflect the diverse population of our state today and not yesterday. Certainly so all of this history, Tom Watson and all of them should be in the museums for study, uh, they should be placed in the proper context of our history, but they certainly should not be dominating our grounds or inside of our public buildings. We were fortunate enough after a 20-year battle to change the state flag. We did that in 2001 with Governor Roy Bonds in office. July, January 31st of 2001, he signed House Bill 16 that I had to carry for almost 20 years. But Governor Nathan Deal and the Properties Commission have decided that it's time to begin to move some of these old racist artifacts from our front door and around our building. And I want to applaud the state. This is a, a sign of progress. This is a step in the right direction. I also hope and pray that we can bring more diversity of African American, Native American, uh, Asians, uh, and other minority groups to this capital. Let's show more diversity of the people who represent Georgia today rather than yesterday.